day in May. Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky, one third of the Sirens, Green Sirens for Science. Today we are brought to you by atomic number 23 and the symbol V, that would be for vanadium, like stadium, which actually kind of makes sense. The most common use for vanadium is to create really strong steel alloy that is used in building bridges and all kinds of buildings like Wembley Stadium. See what I did there? Stadium, vanadium. If you add 0.15% vanadium to steel, you get an alloy with really unique properties. It has the ability to maintain its hardness at high temperatures. You might actually have vanadium right out in your tool shed because it's often used in cutting and grinding tools like drill bits and circular saws. All this talk of grinding and skyscrapers and maintaining hardness get me a little bit worked up, which is more than appropriate for vanadium. It's actually named after Vanadis, the Scandinavian goddess of love, beauty, and fertility, also known as Freya. I think I'm saying that right. She was an object of desire for all kinds of male creatures. We're talking gods, we're talking dwarves, we're talking giants. She hung out with some pretty cool people like Thor, Loki, and Odin, and in fact, one time when Thor misplaced his hammer Mjolnir, how did he misplace Mjolnir? She actually loaned him her special magical falcon cape to help him find it. By the way, that is a plot line from the Scandinavian myth, not the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Unless Kevin Feige is going to reveal something new to us about Thor Ragnarok, which, which could actually happen. But back to vanadium. Although everybody really does enjoy a nice hard tool, one of the modern uses for this element is vanadium redox flow batteries, which are currently being explored as a possibility for storage for solar generated electricity. And that is something we can all get charged up about. I'm Tamara Krinsky for Sirens. Keep tuning in to Everyday Science for Element Today in May. Element a day.